Hey guys, Spray Pray here, and welcome to part 51 of my Let's Play of Europa Universalis 4 as France. We're going to start out as we always do with a zoomed out version of the map, and we can go over our recent acquisitions. Now, we are in this huge war against the Ottomans, so we really haven't had a chance to expand too much. But uh, noteworthy, uh, there's one thing that we did expand upon, which was we integrated one of our personal unions. I believe it was... Um, Hanat, but they they had only one province here, and it was kind of annoying that they were a personal union in the first place. Um, so yeah, uh, I think what we're gonna do here is drop a siege, and then have our forty two thousand men go and attack this uh, stupid Friesland's army. Um, apparently, Austria is giving uh, military access to everybody and their mom who's in the war against us right now. But we're doing really well. I'm really proud. Now the only thing we're really gonna take we're, we're gonna they declared the war on us, so what we're going to do is we're going to demand that they give back um, this thing to Croatia, so Croatia will love our butt. We're going to like totally make them love us, so I think that's going to be really helpful, and I think we're going to win. I mean, I, I don't see any situation where we're going to lose. They won't really accept um, anything right now, so what they want me to release Castile, which is hilarious because it's only like two colonies that belong to Castile anymore. What I would like to do is also get rid of these dumb Aragon, but uh, I guess we're going to have trouble doing that. Anyways, let's build some more mercenaries, I think. Yeah, let's build some more mercenaries, because uh, they're going to not count against our manpower. And uh, we, we, we have a limited amount of manpower right now, so I know we were saving up for this guy for the Diplo slot, but I think m having more units is going to be more important, and winning the war is definitely the most important thing. And oh, look at this m freaking moron. Ottomans are going to try to attack me once again. Um, okay, we'll let them... Idiots. Now we're going to rush in and just defend again, and just rape them. Look at that, 600, wow. Uh, Russia is asking for military access. Certainly, Russia. I would love to be your friend again. Why wouldn't you not be my friend? You, why would you set me as a rival? We're such good friends. Friendly friends. Friendly, friendly, friendly friends. Probably should improve our relations. I really don't want them to be... Do me a... Uh, get, get me in a war with them. I don't... I do not want to be at war with them. But whatever. We're just going to break the Ottomans again. They're pretty dumb. Because they keep attacking us. And what's even more insane is that we have so many sieges going on right now. Let's move these troops back. Have our general at the front so that they uh, maybe they'll be deterred. Stop being so dumb. Ooh, we'll chase Friesland back to uh, back to their own little. Ooh, they're gonna come closer to us. What morons! All right, fine. We're just gonna come back around, I guess. All right, just come on, chase them down, chase them down, chase them down. Ooh, they're gonna fight us there. What morons! Here we go. Now we're gonna catch you. And uh, yeah, thirty-nine thousand, bitch. Come on. Get on my level. Oh, we can do an idea. Economic ideas. Eh, I think we're more important is this uh, this new idea group. So let's uh, let's just get that idea group, and then we'll worry about other stuff later. All right. Stupid, stupid Friesland. Thank you for the war score. Now we're gonna squish you. Oh, I guess we need to drop another siege. But now we're gonna squish you. Oh, you're going to run, huh? Where are you running to? God. You better not run back to your capital. I'm going to be... Ugh, it looks like they're actually going to run all the way. Oh, we can actually get to them. I forgot. If only we had one more province. Ah, oh, good. We took Barcelona. Alright, I really, really don't want them to get Griana because we were so, so close to getting this core. So let's send these men into attack. All of these men. Hopefully these. Uh, this will be enough to... And we'll drop siege and move these men in as well. And we're gonna give them the general. Where's our? Let's make a general for them. Good. All right. Uh, we don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. I know. All right. Uh, let's invest in cardinals. See if there's anybody who's. Nope. They're all ours. All right. So here we go. Fight. Don't lose too quickly. <laughs> Come on, come on, we can beat him. Ooh, good, is this not a mountain? Oh god, it is a mountain. Oh good, we won the Battle of Griona. Okay, so they're gonna go back to here, and we'll just finish them off there. Good thing we gave them the general. And all these more- Ooh, our 46,000 men just arrived! Nice! Get right to the front, boys. You guys are gonna- we, we need this- we need this fresh infusion of troops. And there goes the last of the Freisland's army. Aw, poor Friesland. I'm crying one single tear. Oh, they're gonna give us they're gonna give us peace? Okay, well we want Croatia, damn it. How much do they want? 
Okay, so it's very close to them giving us Croatia, so... Uh, or Croatia's province back? Province? Not province. Um, yeah, let's have all you guys go siege. And then these guys are going to come help. And then now that we've got our transport fleet, we're going to merge that with our battle fleet over here. Forget about Aragon's little dumb fleet, because they're just going to meander about annoyingly forever. And then we're going to get our men in here and just transport over to... Uh, Maybe down here into Sicily and stuff, and wreck these guys. I think the uh, I think the uh, Ottomans learned their lesson, and they're not going to come trying to attack us here again. Well, for for our hates, why does everybody? It sucks kind of that we are so uh, aggressive because everybody hates us, <laughs> like with a passion. They hate us. All right, we'll merge these guys up. Come on, get your siege on. Let's finish off uh, Aragon here. Good, we won another battle. Will you take peace now? Oh, they will! Nice, now then Croatia will accept vassalization and 10 years plan. 10 year plans on its way. How close are we? Can we get some money? Ooh, give me that 200 ducats. Yeah, now I can hire my advisor. Yay! Thank you, Ot Ottomans, for declaring war on me. That was so nice of you. Alright, so we got uh, just 0.1 inflation, some prestige, zero aggressive expansion, and it was only 33 diplo power to free that one thing. We gained the conquest against Milan, and we've lost our thing against them. Whatever. Um, Croatia, now do you love me? Please tell me you love me. They gave back territory. Gave back territory. 40! Yes! Yes! Do you have the gift? No. Okay, you guys are getting my... You're going to be my vassal so hard right now. Good, they left the military coalition. Nice. Um, so let's hire our guy. Oh, we need a little bit more money. But we can put down our military maintenance down to 50%. Yeah. And then the only reason why we weren't really like making Buku money is because of this Delaware is 37 ducats a day. <laughs> or yeah. Because of our colonies. Kinda went a little bit crazy there. But hey. Alright, uh lose ducats, lose ducats, lose ducats. Uh let's get the cheapest one. And we're gonna get the galley in Bermuda. Cool. So dumb. Give me back my money, damn it. <laughs> Alright, well, let's get our guy. Ugh, oh, damn it. They stole all our cash. Oh well. Alright, well, let's return our troops. And then we're gonna wanna disband, dis, uh, disband all of the uh, bad guys. Or not the bad guys, the uh, all of our extra mercenaries. Alright. So that was a good war. Now we got truces with all of them, so they can't be bothering us any longer. And we didn't even let's get our let's get these four thousand men back. They've been like here in Malta for like ten years, just hanging out. So now that we're gonna get them back, it'll be better. So we can get naval supplies or grain. I'm pretty sure naval supplies are better, right? Yeah, naval supplies is cost a little more. Give us, give us a little more income. So let's uh let's see. Can we pump any more money out of this? Uh, once our colonial colonies go away, which <laughs> which will be soon. Uh, at least once we get one colony away, we'll be good. Our diplomat has arrived. Ooh, okay. Um, Croatia. Hey, Croatia, you want some money? How about I give you, like, five dollars? Don't you love me? Uh, that'll only give us eight. I, I'd like to just max out our reps, so let's, um... Yeah. All right, we're good, we're good. We can definitely vassalize them. So just one second, once we get a little bit more money, we can send them a nice, pretty gift. Wow, these guys are not cheap. <laughs> We, uh, I guess we'll take this. That'll give us just the right amount of stuff, and then we have to wait 19 days. Oh, Denmark left the coalition, huh? That's probably because they got their ass smacked. Now let's disband all these dumb uh, mercenaries. Because they're the they're what's killing us in the economy's part. Alright, disband you. How many mercenaries you got here? Ooh, nice. I like it when I see lots of mercenaries because I know that I'm going to get lots of money back. Disband you. Right now, do we have any more mercenaries out? No, and we're making 50 ducats. Nice, nice, nice. Good, our mercenaries are all back. Let's move these 40,000 troops up there. Uh, we're going to grab our super fleet here. And uh, we're going to just, just uh, take off all the light ships and have them go do stuff. All right, let's get all of our light ships. You are going to go protect the trade in Bordeaux. And then, these heavy ships, we're going to have them go dock up here, and uh, we're going to get rid of the, we're going to put the explorer on the frigate, and we're going to go have that ex explorer go explore. You know, how quaint. Having the explorer explore. <laughs> uh, 
Brunswick has left the military coalition against us. Wow, so this coalition is getting quite mighty small. They learned not to mess with France. They don't want to get drawn into a war again where they're going to get smacked. So, well, it's a good thing that Hungary basically belongs to us. Ooh, we can tech up. Let's do this. Yeah, we want to get our next level of, um... You wanted to get the next level of idea group, so uh, I think I decided a, lot, a while ago what idea group I wanted to get, and I, I have no idea. I've totally forgotten. Um, we should get another military idea group, especially since we're going to have such excess military power. Uh, let's get rid of this guy, because we don't need him anymore. So, uh, yeah, we can boot him, and uh, but we're going to have an excess of military power, so I think it might be a good idea to get a military idea. Is there any military ideas that we kind of like? Well, quality ideas I'm sure will be awesome. Quantity ideas is going to give us even more men. I don't like managing so many men, so perhaps quality ideas would be the best. Our infantry combat ability, our recovery speed. This looks like a good idea. What's the main idea? 15 more discipline. Ooh, that's nice. And then aristocratic, what does this do? Uh, we get more cavalry, cost is going to be cheaper, local nobility is going to give us... Ooh, hostile core creation is... Oh, that's going to make it really hard for them to make core creations. That's good. Manpower modifier increased, leader shock, diplomats, cost of raising war exhaustion. Ooh, that's nice. And military tech cost is going to go down. Hmm. So it's, I'm really between that and quality. So it's quality again. Cavalry. This is all a lot of combat stuff, and I think we're going to really dominate anyway. I think this is like a nice mix of like military and diplomacy, so let's do that. Okay, good. So we got the um, the aristocratic ideas for the military. And of course it's going to make them like really pissed if they ever conquer anything. Good, and then you guys can go hang out in Cox. You know, I, I remember I wrote that on a test. I was like uh, one of the like battles of the... Uh, of the Hundred Years of War, I was like, oh yeah, they fought in Cox, and I was like, oh damn it, most people just call this whole region up here Normandy, and I, I kind of messed up that one. But um, I was technically right. Anyways, um, naval improvements, let's get the Diplo, because we're, we're, we're falling behind in diplomatic technology, I mean, it's not the biggest deal to fall behind, but you know, it's still nice to not fall behind right now. Be my vassal, damn you. December 21st, you're going to be my vassal. Yes, mine. Ha ha ha. They accepted. Nice. So now we've got Croatia as our vassal. All we got to do is wait till 1650 and we're going to annex every one of our vassals at once. Leaving uh, probably Savoy, Croatia, or at least, why do we go down with Savoy? We got plus 50 because of vassals, so one of the things must have gone away. But we can get 100 plus more relations for increasing relations now. So that's nice. And we really, we really need money so bad. We're not getting any diplomatic power because we have negative six because uh, of our overextension, but or too many relations. What's our, actually our relations? Why are we over? All right, do we have any... Okay, we've got royal marriage with Norway, which is just holding us down. Um, royal marriage with Brunswick. Brunswick does not look like they're going to be wanting to be a vassal anytime soon just because of this, all these negatives. So let's... um. Eh, I don't know. I don't know if I should break my royal ties with them because it's going to make them pissed. Eventually, we're going to want to annex them. But, eh, oh well. Do we share the same dynasty with Poland yet? It's really annoying that we still don't have the same thing with them. Whatever. We're going to keep that alliance because it's really a strong alliance. And if we ever do get a chance to take over their throne, that would be sick. I mean, we already got Hungary and Croatia, so that's pretty sick already. But it would just be even ultra sicker. So, since we're doing pretty good with our manpower and stuff, I think now is a good time to, one, finish building, and then uh, finish building up our army, and then two, we're going to want to finish, uh, we're going to want to fight with uh, India. You know, vassal force the vassalization of that one guy. Alright, so we got 18 more infantry in production, good. Oh, damn it, I spent my money again. Oh, God, I keep forgetting. <laughs> I'm so stupid. <laughs> Why am I so stupid? Oh, well. We got our vassal now. We can just sit on our money here for a second. And, uh, yeah, these guys are working on it. Oh, damn you, Netherlands. You're stealing my cardinals? Oh, in Poland, you have a cardinal that I want. Thank you. <laughs> we were a ridiculous amount of people influences. And it's so hilarious because the papal state hates us so much. 
It's like, why are they so in love with us since they hate us so much? Can we can we annex for or Rassel's Ferraria? I just want to see their base tax. Their base tax isn't that good. It's only 40. It probably was worse. What about the Milan? Meh. That's really cool that we got Croatia though. I mean I know that like I guess they kinda suck, but since we have Croatia now, they're gonna we're gonna own them. They have the same dynasty as Aragon? That's really weird. I wish we could um annex like one of these guys down here, but we need to like have change the religions. Which is annoying. No, oh, we should probably move these guys back. And uh let's declare war, yeah, like I said, we're gonna declare war on them. Can we call our allies Poland? Oh, why won't Poland come? <laughs> so let's take them. All right, here we go. I'm gonna just move in and just wreck their army really fast. All right, good. And now we're gonna split it up. Oh, the Netherlands has. We have gained the colonialism. Oh, well, I hope that doesn't hurt our relations too much. Because we're gonna want to keep them happy at least. You know, a little happy with us. Uh, ooh, we don't want to send too many men there, so let's... Yeah, we want to spread out, because we're going to have to take them over completely to get their, uh, their submission. We don't, we're going to have to wait forever for this dumb diplomat to come back, because he's so far away. Uh, we need to pay for our troops, apparently, but I'm not going to listen, because we already won the battle. Ah, oh, good. Our Hungary has... We've increased our relation with them to the max. Hungary, where are you? How much do you love us? Not much. Oh, God. Poor Hungary, why do they hate- why? oh, that's because of this aggressive expansion. We use their pretext to claim their throne. I'm so sorry. At least we don't have neighboring heretic religion, all right? Am I right? Uh, does Hungary have any provinces or any cores? Let me look at Hungary. While well, it's going- oh, we can probably put it up to five speed. Um, let's see. Ooh, Cardinal, good. Um, the electors have elected Bohemia. And then, so where do they, they have cores in Poland and in Bohemia. So we can actually give these guys back those things and they would they would have, oh, are those claims? Yeah, those are claims, not cores, never mind. They only have cores here, right? Yeah, these are all claims, damn it. And uh, Croatia's got all their cores too. What about Razgusa? Oh, they've got a core up here, but we don't care about them. What about Savoy? Do they have any? Oh god, they are <laughs> all the lands that we stole from them. And then, oh, it looks like the Ottomans bummed, take down, took down the uh, Flemish Patriots, sadly. Uh, can we can we uh, support rebels here? Uh, covert support. Oh, they don't have any rebels. Oh, that's sad. All right. Ooh, uh, colony became self-sustaining. Thank God. Now we have some. Uh, oh, and we got two free guys. What are they doing? Nothing. Well, let's move all these guys in here, except for you. And uh, now we finally have enough to buy the dumb advisor. So, but we we need that plus five diplomatic reputation because it's going to help us a lot when it comes to first of all, you know, annexing uh, vassal our vassals as well as uh, other stuff. So, let's, let's keep them. Let's keep the how's the palinate? Do we finish our? Oh, good. We're still got a little bit of. Oh god, that three hundred negative for aggressive expansion is really horrible. Why are we in a war together? Oh. Yeah, we're fighting against Mandwai. Whoa. It's a huge... Damn you, Netherlands. Go back to your own house. It's like you're the stupid friend that won't leave. You're giving me attrition. Let's have you guys go away. Thank God. Yes, please, go home. Or somewhere else. Quit it. Stay away from my... Stay away from my army. Just want my one. Go away. Oh, it's probably because we're at war. They're like, oh, we're helping, right? This is where the war is. Not in India or anything. Oh, we got our guy died, too. Um, who should we take? I want this inflation reduction guy, but we need to wait to save a little bit more money. Okay, do we finish this siege? Why do we finish that siege first? We have the mo least amount of people there. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, peace offer from Manduai? Uh, no. No. Uh, we want you to be my vassal. Oh good, they'll take it. Um, we can make them give the back the things. Of, that's funny. Uh, no, sorry. We want you to be my vassal, so that when I fight with Vajinagar in the future, we can just give you. There we go. So I don't have to deal with. You can core stuff for me. Oh good, we gained a core in Prino. Did we get that one in Griana yet? 
Okay, we got Rist alone as well. So we should be really low on our aggressive expansion. And now we can get that last guy, just before I forget. Get that re inflation reduction going on. How's our economy? Ah, oh, good, we're making lots of money, especially since our colonies stopped uh, stealing all of our cash. And uh, how are we doing over here? We we taking over all this cool stuff? Good. Now the Iroquois, I wonder if, I really want to vassalize them, or you know, like steal, or not, yeah, vassalize them. The Aztecs as well, and the Inca, even though we haven't discovered them yet. But anyway, I think I said, ooh, let's look, at, let's look at our country on the leisure and see if what our score is in relation. Do we have a score, score, score? Oh no, it's um, score comparison. Score, there we go. Now clear, oh wow, we're almost a thousand ahead of uh, Austria, which was, our, we were only 500 ahead of them earlier. So that's interesting. Got our army here. Let's, uh, let's start fabricating claims on, um, do we have, oh, we have to, two colonists to spare. Uh, let's go send them to do work in, like, Delaware and stuff. Uh, yeah, we want to make our course. Don't want to forget about that. But uh, send you guys there to help make that go a little bit quicker. Where's my, uh, where are all my damn colonies at? Do we finish here? Oh, this is the dumb galley that we got. Where's the colonies? <laughs> oh god, I forget where I put all my stupid colonies. Anyways, let's uh, let's just look at our thing here and uh, core them really fast. The ones that we got. Ooh, good. And this, uh, yeah, Grion is almost done. And then this one from uh, the stupid uh, Indian core that's going to take forever. That we are never going to have to do again because we own that vassal now. Um, where's our freaking core? Or did we do some colonies over here in Africa? No. We did nothing here in Africa. I like how this stupid place, they got that stupid, um, they revolted or whatever, and now we get none of their money. Dumb. Alright, uh, what about the other one? Yeah, we get money from here, but not that one. Anyways, oh, where's, where's their stupid colonists at? Oh well. Let's send him here. To the, uh, that's a spice island, right? Yeah. We need to get our transports back down here so we can uh, move over there. So where are they? Did we get these guys yet? Nope. Let's move them. Let's just take them down with us. To the, uh, to India. Why not? Alright. So we have one free diplomat and we also probably can convert. Oh, no, we can't because we're still making that into a core. Damn it. But hey, we have 200% reform desire. Oh wow, what the hell? Oh god, that's horrible. So, um... Our religious unity is 99%, so that's pretty good. And uh, we own the Curia. So hard, we own the Curia. What does this give us, Curia controller? I always worried and wonder... Oh wait, that one diplomat and the... Ooh, advisors are better. As well as the influence and the leaders without upkeep. Oh nice, that's cool. I did not know that. I did not know that it gave us the leaders. And how's our... We got two guys voting for us in the HRE. Now the Palinate and the... in Lorraine and everybody will slowly change their mind. And maybe we could even... That'd be so hilarious. We're gonna form the uh, HRE or like giant Germany. That'd be funny. Yeah, but Bohemia hates us so much. It's never gonna happen. We have a free diplomat though. Let's, uh, let's see if there's anybody who wants to... Let's increase our relations with... Not, not them, but uh, Russia. Just to keep them happy with us. I don't want to. I don't want to have to fight a war right now with them. Or I don't. Want, I definitely don't want them to be in the uh, coalition. Do you have any aggressive expansion against them? Got a revolt in Guyana now. We just finished the core. Damn you! Didn't we? No. It's like one second away from finishing. All right. Well, we'll show you guys with Francis, Francis de Toque. He will crush you. Now. Yeah, so we got like a few more years until we're going to be annexing everybody, so... Like I said, I mean, we're just waiting for Croatia, basically, so... Let me look and take a, like, a poll of my vassals. I think Palinate... Not Osberg. Uh, the Palinate and... Oh! Holstein. Are we still increasing with Holstein? Yes. And the Palinate? Palinate's almost done, but, uh... Let's see, can we get a... Oh, if we get them high enough, we can actually get them a royal marriage. And, uh, why won't they take it? Because they hate us. Okay, so if they don't hate us anymore, then they'll take it. Let's send them a gift. That might give them enough. Oh, they are cheap. Only 50 ducats. Um, let's accept the demands, because we can we can afford to lose a little tiny bit of admin power. 
right now. We're not really using that. Magdenburg, they're one of our vassals, right? Yeah, so we're gonna need to annex them as well at some point, but eh, it's gonna be hard because of all this other stuff. But hey, look, we don't have any improved relations really, so we could definitely annex them easily. Good, we've maxed out with Russia, so we got our guy back soon. And uh, so let's put him to do something else in Palinate. Can we? We already sent them a gift, right? So I'm just trying to get them to make us. Can we guarantee them? Proclaim. Oh no, they're our subjects. So uh, what else can we do? What else can we do to give them to make them love us? I forget sometimes. <laughs> um, I don't think selling any provinces to them would help. It's just gonna make them more annoying. Oh, did this guy die again? There we go. Oh, and he's only the. Oh, that sucks. We're like gonna get zero diplo power every month. That's okay. We need the uh, the bonus. Um, we're gonna get this uh, military idea because good. We got ooh, we got our uh, technology cost decreased. Sweet. All right. A uh, new cardinal. Nice. We got our cardinal in here, and we'll steal this one from Austria instantly. We're almost about to push out that Polish cardinal that randomly got in there. So that'll be cool to have him gone. Um, yeah, so I think the Palinate is like the, or in the Holstein are going to be the annoyingest vassals to, and not even Holstein because they're going to love us soon. So we might need to just have the Palinate wait another round. Wow, seventy-five. You guys are so easy. So once we annex them all, then we'll be good, and then we'll, we'll start moving on to fighting more. Uh, we can always sell these things over here. We, I'm not really worried about annexing Croatia because we can always sell any provinces we take over here to Poland and any, or not Poland, uh, Hungary. Because they're going to be with us for a long time. If we look here, uh, we're not going to be able to integrate them until 85, so that's like 40 years from now. I just hope they don't break their union because they're pissed. Do we have an alliance still? Oh good, they're still allied with us. I was just making sure. Pomerania has left the coalition against us. How is that coalition looking now? I know it's it's hard to tell, really, who's like in the coalition and not. I think it's the red ones. And then the orange ones are just pissed. Yeah. Razgusa has left the coalition. Now it looks like we beat them, but we still didn't kill them, so let's fight them in the other stupid mountains. In Morone, we got some revolt risk. That's that shouldn't be too bad, right? How's our uh how are our vassals doing? Or sorry, not, did our boats make it there yet? Oh yes, they did. All right, so let's put you guys on the boats and take you over to the Philippines. All right, so we, we need to hurry up and get there because uh, and actually, how about we just, we're gonna put you guys down. Uh, we're just gonna take like half and half and then put you onto those half and then like yeah, we're just going to take 14,000 troops because there's so few supply limit that's getting out there. And uh, we're going to want to give them the leader. Where's the leader? Did we lose our guy? Did he die? No, he's still up here. I oh, he just forgot to take him out. No leader. All right. So you guys get the uh, stupid little diplomat or explorer guy who sucks. He's only got like one maneuver, but hey, it'll save them for at least like one day. All right. So you guys hurry up and get over there. Battle of Prino, good, we won again, but we're, we just need to keep chasing them everywhere, god. It's gonna be chasing them all day. Did they finally, oh god, of course not. All right, what's our colonist doing? Don't we have the free guy? Where's our other colonist? Here, all right, come on, we gotta have at least one other colony move, doing, move, forming around here. Ugh, whatever, let me just core these guys. Where's our freaking colonies? We It says we have so many, and so where are they? <laughs> we have four. So, Magdalena, where, where? I God, I can't remember. No, that's not these ones. Where do we make more colonies? I can't remember, I'm so dumb. Maybe it was over here. Ah, there it is. That's where they are, I knew it. Forgot about this place. We're just about to get this one too. We're gonna need to make some more colonies. Ew, and our guys are coming back from doing all their work. Do we get anything nice, Palinate? Come on. Can we still increase our relations anymore? Oh no, we got to max. Damn it. We don't want to send them an insult. That's not gonna help. Um, we sent them a gift already. Offer them free placing rights. Don't you want that? Oh, let's give the Netherlands that, because I forgot about that. We should give them 
Oh, well, they won't take it? Why don't they take my fleet basing rights, you idiots? Oh well, so I guess the Palinate, I mean, we have seven more years to see what happens, but I, I don't know if we're going to be able to annex them, honestly. We might just have to wait for the next round. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Alright, so yeah, the Netherlands are doing a really good job of um, expanding over here, colonizing for us. Hope there's some left for me. Did we get this colony started over here yet? Oh god. Let's get these guys onto the colony here. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, before we start losing ships left and right. Good. Alright, now you boys, come home, come to port, where it's safe. Did I tell you to go to port, or did I tell you to just hang out in the freaking ocean? Oh good, I told them to go to the port. Nice. Alright, and uh, the colony is self-sustaining, oh nice. Ah, and we got our base in the Spice Lands. Spice Islands. So now we can go colonize Mobile. Where's that? Get it to China. Spread our culture to Lebec. I don't want to do that yet because it's going to give us a bunch of um, a bunch of other stuff. Is this Lebec right here? No, that's Nigeria. Where's Lebec? Where's Mobile? Let's uh, let's let's look for Mobile just to make sure that it's not like yeah, Mobile right here. All right, Mobile is right there, so we could colonize that. I mean, it's kind of annoying to go around the Shawnee every five seconds, but I guess we could war fight a war with them, but... All right, fine. We'll send the guy that we just got off the thing here, and then uh, you can kill those natives. Hopefully Netherlands will take that as some a good idea to... Yeah, all right, good. So we got three free diplomats. God, what are we going to... I need to make sure our vassals are ready to go. Um... So Holstein, we're still increasing relations here. We gave them the thing. Can we get a royal marriage? Nope, they got a different government. But uh, we've got plenty of room to get up to Max with them. Plenty of room here with Savoy. Uh, Palinate is not going to go anywhere, but maybe they'll change from hostile to nice. <laughs> I hope soon. And we can increase their relation by three, so that'll make them... There we go, we got to Max with them. Um, how's Russia? Poland. Poland, what do you think about us with improved relations? Nothing. So let's improve our relations here with Push and with Poland, just in case, you know, their our same dynasty comes up and we get to steal their throne. Have them be just slightly less pissed with us in the end. And uh, we want to keep them as, a, as an ally because they're really strong, or at least kind of helpful, you know? It's really hard to say if anybody's strong, especially compared to us. And how's our opinion here. Well, they're okay. And good, our ships made it back. We didn't lose too many guys. We're gonna get rid of the guy here, and we're gonna give him the... we're gonna give the leader here to this guy. Alright, and uh, you can go and explore shit. Alright, you come here. I want you to come down to here. Go into here. Into here. Can you can you explore here? Uh, let me try again. I want you to go to here, <laughs> and then I want you to look into here. In here, in here, and then that should probably be good. We'll make you go back to port. Ah, oh, damn! I wasn't holding shift. So dumb. I'm so dumb, guys. Don't even. But that's. I guess I get another chance to rethink this. All right, and then you can go to port here, actually. And I forgot. I remembered to hold shift that time. <laughs> so these spice islands are supposed to be really good, right? Let me see. Is there any good base taxes around here? I don't really see any, but. Okay. Alright, we got enough men. Cardinals don't want to be loyal to us. Damn you, Poland. Thank you. For giving it right back. Um, Defender of the... F I don't even know what that means. There's like the weird noise. Does it mean we got... Okay, we got two people voting for us, but they've got four people voting for Bohemia. So if we get the Palinate to vote for us, that's going to make us even with them. So if only Würzburg liked us a little more. They hate us. Lorraine hates us, Frankfurt hates us, and Bohemia, who is electing themselves, hates us intensely. They hate us so much. Wow. We should just go remove all the uh, all their stuff from the Empire. To be like, oh, actually, uh, no, we kind of want that. Like, I think we have some... Yeah, all these provinces up here we can remove. Corsica we could remove. But whatever, we're fine. Um, we could probably get these guys back up to Paris. 
Anyways, that's gonna about do it for this episode, guys. I think we're gonna just go ahead and build some mints really fast. Where's our mints? There we go. Special buildings. All right, and we're gonna get this uh, six in Savoy, five, five fifty, three fifty. Wow, this is just this awesome. How much tax we're gonna be getting from this? What about Gascony? That should be good, right? Uh, oh, probably should have done Toulouse first, but whatever. All right, that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching, and uh, it's really interesting to watch the Netherlands expand. So, yeah, see you guys next time. Spray and pray out.